Hello everybody, Mr McCall here, uh, second week of the Head Teacher Bulletin, week commencing the 12th of September. Hopefully you've got into a bit more of a routine now with, with second week back into school and, and taking your son or daughter to school. Um, let's get started. So just a reminder, Monday the 19th of September, the school is closed for uh, a bank holiday for the Queen's funeral. Um, we've also got a condolence book and reception, so feel free to pop into school um, if you wish to uh, write a note of condolence. Uh, that's something that we'll keep on uh, on school site uh, for, the, for, for the future, really, as a, as a um, historic moment. Um, so please, please feel free to pop up. Uh, we'll keep the condolence book for the next couple of weeks uh, so you can support that. So just a reminder again about our website, please access, uh, please use, um, it's updated regularly with uh, curriculum information, uh, news articles. Um, you've also got this section here where you can uh, have a translate feature. So for those parents and carers uh, whereby English is not your first language, um, just feel free to um, click at the top and change the language feature uh, and that will convert the whole text on the website uh, to the language selected. Uh, you've also got a reminder on the top right hand corner about whether it's week A and week B and often that's quite helpful just in relation to people's timetables and making sure they're organised for the week ahead. So if you haven't accessed the website just yet, please log on, download the app, um, it'll send you push, no push notifications. Uh, we just want to really uh, enhance communication and make sure that you're well informed of what's going on at school. So please do take a look um, there. So I'm really excited. The library is back open. Um, obviously, since, since I started in January, um, it's one of my big drivers and improvements to make sure the, the library is back open. Um, I was really sad to hear that, you know, the library has been closed at the school for the past couple of years for, for various reasons. But it's open. Uh, the space is there to be used before school, at break time, after school, lunch times uh, for either homework, reading, catch up. Uh, we've got computer access, so um, you know, please, please feel free to share the news to your sons and daughters uh, to make use of that provision. There'll be more in the way of uh, sort of uh, reading activities and literacy events uh, moving forwards. Uh, but for the meantime, it's, it's an absolutely um, lovely space just to sit and read and um, enjoy a book. So electives, uh, we're really proud of our electives programme uh, on Wednesday period five. That's something we have prioritised in our personal development curriculum, making sure that everyone's got the opportunity to get involved in um, things outside of the classroom, really. So um, if you follow us on social media, you'll see that I posted some photos about um, the exciting activities that are happening at the moment. Uh, one of them there, you can see a picture of our students at Brampton Heath Golf Club. Um, but all students have selected their electives for, for the year. Um, they'll run every half term and they'll swap every half term. Um, so if you haven't taken a look at our website for the brochure of the electives programme and, and what's happening and when, um, please do and keep an eye on our social media feed uh, to see the exciting things weekly uh, of what our pupils are getting up to. So again, social media, a bit of a plug really, uh, and a bit of a plea to, to get following us. Um, we've got a school web, uh, Facebook page whereby we're updating uh, and uh, pushing sort of news articles and notices. Uh, we've also got our Twitter feed as well, which is quite useful. Um, again, we're, we're tweeting regularly throughout the day. Um, I, I find social media really powerful, really, because actually we're snapping photos and news of what's happening live in the school. So if you're following us, you get a, sort of a real time update of all, all the great things that's happening. So if you're not following us on Facebook or Twitter, please do. We've also got an Instagram feed uh, for, for Sixth Form um, and we're working on a, a TikTok feed as well, just to make sure that we over communicate and that you can see the fantastic stuff that's happening happening day in day out. So today has seen our Year 9 Prison Me No Way Day. Um, it's all about raising awareness on the uh, causes, consequences, penalties and impact of crime. Uh, the Year 9s have had a fantastic day and if you've got sons and daughters in Year 9, please talk to them about their day. So it links into our PSHE curriculum and making sort of the right choices. Um, but just a big a, a public thank you really to Prison Me No Way. We'll be inviting them back in next year uh, and it'll be a regular occurrence for our year groups um, as we uh, run through sort of our PSHE programme. Year 11 intervention is happening. So we've got a, a plethora of intervention happening uh, both before school, lunch times and after school. Uh, but before the timetable is published, 
um, it's just uh, to keep you informed as parents and carers that we have online intervention that students can access at home. So that's called GCSE Pod and Seneca Learning. So GCSE Pod is basically described as a Netflix of education. It really brings together uh, elements of content, assessment, um, and it's basically lots of small video clips that the students can access to um, revise from. So um, we'll be pushing that this year, uh, in particular with, with, with Year 11, uh, but also Seneca Learning. Seneca has um, lots of knowledge retrieval quizzes, uh, revision activities, and science in particular using Seneca Learning uh, to set weekly knowledge quizzes um, that they can work through. So again, it's just to better inform you as parents and carers of what we're doing to support Year 11 um, in the lead up to um, their mock exams, which um, I believe is only about 30 uh, school days away. But more information to follow about that. We've got our Steps to Success evening on the October the 6th, which you'll be formally invited to. Um, so we look forward to seeing you uh, face to face then. Breakfast Club, so this has proven really popular and for our new parents and um, just to sort of give you an update of what that consists of. So in the restaurant every day uh, we've got staff on duty in the Breakfast Club um, from 8am to 8.25 and in essence uh, they, students can access free bagels. So we're part of the Breakfast Programme provision. Um, it's a government funded initiative. We pay 25% towards um, the, the purchase of the bagels um, but we very much um, would like to ensure that students have uh, set up for the day um, we're aware that it's a rush in the morning sometimes students come to school without breakfast and they're, and they're hungry so um, they can have as many bagels as they wish uh, but that provision is is there and available so um, you know if, if your sons and daughters want to access that they just need to turn up and uh, access the restaurant um, on whichever day they uh, wish to so a bit of a plead really about uh, pupil premium. So we've got just a, a bit above national average really for pupil premium for our cohort of pupils here. And um, pupil premium is, is an allocated amount of money that obviously we um, access as a school. And we can use that money for various things to support classroom learning, interventions, trips, visits, uh, uniform, the, the list endless. So um, if you are unsure whether you're eligible for pupil premium, um, there's uh, just some bullet points there about um, obviously if you meet those criteria but the application is really quick it takes two or three minutes so I urge you um, to um, go through the application process um, because it supports obviously yourselves um, with, with, with school and learning but also us as a school it, it allows us to access um, extra funding so um, just to plug again if you um, haven't applied please go through that application process um, that will be greatly appreciated. A reminder about Class Charts, it's our parent app, you can download it if you're unsure of your logins, contact office. It is our single central way that we communicate with parents and carers. Um, we have the announcements feature, we have the positive and negatives part of our behaviour policy, um, we've got our uh, information for detentions, you can track attendance, you can see your, street, your sons or daughters timetable. So we really want to push this Class Charts app as a way of communication because it's free uh, for us to communicate uh, with you which saves us a bit of money um, but also so um, it's part of our pastoral program. Um, if you're on a, if your sons and daughters are on a pastoral support program, that will be accessible on the um, online app. So if you haven't downloaded it, go to the App Store. Uh, it's, it's available on uh, Apple and Android. Um, and um, if you've forgotten your login, contact Office at, and we'll just reissue that for you to access. Lastly, just a reminder about our open evening, uh, Thursday 22nd, so next week, um, it runs from 5 till 8 and there's two talks at 5.30 and 6.30. All are welcome, um, it's set to be a really fantastic evening, um, lots of activities, lots of information and lots of uh, things to get involved in. So uh, we warmly welcome you and we look forward to seeing you then. Have a great Bank Holiday weekend and I'll see you next week.